Hi, my name is Vibeke and welcome to Diving Ducks Crochet. Today I'll show you how to Tunisian crochet these fingerless gloves. And this is just simple stitch, but with a little twist, this special little pattern in the middle where the fingers are. Um, usually I make my fingerless gloves um, to stop right here, but this goes up a little bit further to cover a little bit of the fingers as well. So you get a nice warm fingers when you sit at the office. So let's begin. The yarn I've used today is this Himalaya yarn and it's actually really soft. I like working with this a lot. You can see it's 100% acrylic and then it's a medium weight 4. That's it, medium weight 4. Um, yeah, that's it. Then I've used a Tunisian crochet hook size 4.5 millimeter. And I have also used the wire today because it goes a little bit further than does just this. And I've used some scissors and a darning needle. So we begin with a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn and take the long end of the yarn behind the loop and grab it from the middle with your hook and pull. Then we create a few chains. So yarn over, pull through, that's one chain. Yarn over, pull through, that's two. Keep chaining until you have 40 chains in total. When we have 40 chains, we will now pick up stitches all the way back. So skip the first chain, move on to the second one, this one. Insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, and that's it. Then go for the next stitch. Insert the hook in the next chain, yarn over, pull through this one, and leave it on the hook. Continue all the way across with picking up stitches, just leave them on the hook. Just insert, yarn over, pull through, insert, yarn over, pull through, until you picked up all 39 because we skipped the first one. When we picked up all of them, we have 39 stitches on the hook. We will now cast them off with a reverse row. So the first rule is that the first stitch of this row, we will only cast off one. So just yarn over and pull through one stitch. And that's to make a straight edge. And we all want a straight edge. So for all the rest, we will yarn over and pull through two. Then yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And you just continue like this all the way across with yarning over and pull through two. So now we want to begin a row with this special pattern I have right here. And first we will do eight simple stitches, so we just want to pick up eight stitches. So you skip this first vertical line and go for the next. And then you insert the hook, yarn over and pick up the stitch. Then the next one, insert, yarn over, pick up the stitch. And we want to do this until we have eight. And I'm counting this one as a stitch when I'm counting eight. I don't know if that's the right way, but this is my pattern. So that's how I tell you to do. <laughs> Sorry. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. So now we picked up eight stitches for simple stitches. Now we want to work one of these special stitches. So instead of grabbing this stitch on front, in front, we want to dive in and push the hook all the way through and then grab the yarn on the other side and pull up a loop. 
and we do this in the next one as well just instead of grabbing it we push the hook all the way through yarn over and pull through and pick up the stitch and then this next stitch we will do a simple stitch so we pick up this next stitch So now these two will be one of these um, arrows, like you see over here. And on the next row, sorry, on the next row, we will pull them together on top so they are pointing upwards. So we just did a simple stitch. Now for the next two, we will push through the whole thing and pick up stitch. In the next one, push through everything, pick a stitch, and then do a simple stitch in the next, like this. And then in the next two, we will pull through everything. So again, push through everything, yarn over, pull through, and that's it. So now we did that three times. So these two, these two, and these two, and simple stitches in the middle. Now we continue with simple stitches all the way across. So just for the next stitch, you insert the hook, yarn over, pull through. Insert, yarn over, pull through. And just continue all the way across with simple stitches to pick up. In the end, remember this final vertical stitch all the way at the end. Remember to pick this one up as well. So, now we want to cast off and this is a little bit special. You won't just do the same thing all the way over, but we begin the same way as before. So yarn over, pull through one, and then yarn over, pull through two. And then we continue with yarning over and pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And we continue with yarning over and pull through two, just until we did this special thing with the special stitches in the middle. So just continue until you get to these. And it's a bit hard to see uh, on, on the front where it is but if you turn it you can very clearly see it on the back side maybe not on the camera but you have these uh, bumps uh, coming out of your work yeah that's more clear just st stop just before that then I will show you how we cast off in this section I'm all the way over here right now and you can see these little bumps on the back side so we have these two and we have the slip stitch in the middle and then these two together and one in the middle and then the final two back here. So I only have this one regular simple stitch and then we have these two uh, with the pattern. So the next one I will yarn over and then to make these two go together I will pull through all three of these at the same time. So I did yarn over and then pull through three stitches. All right, that makes this uh, arrow in front. Okay, the next one you will pull through two with the regular simple stitch down here. So just yarn over and pull through two. And then we have the next bump on the back, these two. So we will yarn over and pull through three at the same time. Then the next one is a simple stitch. So yarn over and pull through two. And then the final bump on the back. Yarn over and pull through three at the same time. And that's all three of them. And you see these little arrows coming together on top. Then just for the rest of the row, yarn over and pull through two.
Then we want to begin the next row and again just with simple stitches. So skip the first one, grab the next one, yarn over, pull through. So just pick up stitches all the way to the special section. And it is getting a lot more clear to see right now because we can see this little arrow right here. This one. So we just have one simple stitch to pick up before that. And then we have these two stitches together and we will insert the hook where we just push in through both, through the whole layer and then grab the yarn, pull through. And then we skip these two and then we push our hook in just after this one between. Grab the yarn, pull through. And then we have these two that will be picked up when we cast off and make this next arrow on the next uh, row. So just find your next simple stitch in the middle. Pick this one up. And then for this next one, we push in the hook just before the arrow, pick up the stitch, and then just after the arrow, through everything, and pick it up. And then the simple stitch in front. And then before the arrow, and after the arrow, And then a simple stitch after that. And then the rest is just simple stitches to pick up. So now we see what we just did. It's not that clear yet, but you can see these little arrows becoming right here with the simple stitches in the middle. It will be a lot more clear when you work up a bit more, but just repeat this row again and again. And when you cast off, then cast off three at the same time when you meet these arrows so they get pulled together on top and make this little arrow effect. You can rewind the video and see the step where I do it uh, a bit, uh, a couple of times more if you need to see it again. But you can always see it a lot clearer on the back side. But it will be a lot more clear when you have done it for a couple of rows then it will look like this. So just go back and forth with the same pattern again and again. I continued until I have 28 rows in total and it looks like this. So now I want to show you how I finish it, how I bind off and I just did a return row. So now I want to begin the next stitch. So I just insert the hook in the first stitch like always, then yarn over and then I pull through both loops on the hook. So this one and this one. And this is how you bind off. Just go to the next stitch, insert the hook, yarn over and pull through both. So pull through, pull through. And in the next one, insert, pull through, pull through. Now I want to continue for a couple of stitches so you can see how I do it when I make it to the special section where the, the little pattern is. So just give me a sec. There's nothing special about it. I just want to show you how. So now here I usually just stitch through, but I will actually just grab it in front. I have tried both ways and I think this is uh, the prettiest. So I just do it like this. And then grab the next one and bind this off and then in this one pull through, pull through. So I, I tried um, pushing it all the way through, you know, like this, like we did, but um, this is the best result. You can try it the other way. You can always just unwrap it again. 
but just continue like this all the way to the other end. And the final one, just insert the hook and pull through both. That's it. So now you've finished it. Now all that's left to do is just pull this through, of course, just cut the yarn and then pull through. Then find your darning needle and then we can sew it up. So now you just um, fold it so you have the inside out or you know the the right side on the inside so you just stitch on the back side and this is the top of your work you see the these arrows is pointing upwards so now we want to make a little stitch uh, just right here on the glove so i want to stitch about three centimeters down so i'm doing the mattress stitch up here or all the way down actually just make sure it's really secure on top because there's a lot of pressure on this part because we are pulling a lot right here but then just do the mattress stitch so you have the yarn over here and then you insert the needle uh, between the layers and then from the inside and out the opposite side and pull through then you have your yarn over here so you go from this side then in between the layers and from inside and out on the opposite side just go like this for three centimeters down just continue like this And that's it. So now I am three centimeters. So I'm just giving it an, a couple extra stitches right here again, because there's a lot of pressure. So just a couple of times. And then I want to make room for the thumb. So for this gap, I won't stitch. So I will just lead the needle through the stitches all the way down where the thumb gap will be so you can secure the yarn and cut it or you can just do like this so you have the thread down here after the gap instead just continue on until there's room for the thumb and i can't remember how much it needs just measure it on the other one about five centimeters gap and that's about here. Yep. So now we want to begin stitching again. And I'm just continuing with the mattress stitch. And again, there's a lot of pressure just where the gap is. So just do a couple of extra stitches to begin with and then continue with the mattress stitch all the way down. So we have the yarn over here insert in between the layers and from inside and out the opposite side and again like this all the way to the bottom and then when you weaved in the ends on the bottom you are now done and you can turn it around and have the right side out and you see this beautiful pattern right here. And that's it. So now you can wear it. Then of course you can make another one. I will just zoom out so it's clearer. That's it. I've already made the other one. And you just have to remember that they are not totally the same. Because you, with this glove over here, you did eight simple stitches and then you did this uh, pattern for the other one you have to do it the opposite way so you have to do all the simple stitches and then you count eight stitches from the other opposite side and then you begin this pattern right here just the opposite of this one so i hope you found this tutorial easy to follow if you did please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i hope to see you again soon bye